it's Sarah from All Chrome Bust Ladies, and yes, I am back. I'm finally back. I basically had a break from making videos, and it's not because of the bear market. It's purely because of my personal reasons that I had to take over my life, and I had to stop making videos for a while. However, I didn't go completely offline. I've been very active on Twitter, and I've been so active that I've actually doubled the amount of followers I have compared to last time I've made a video, which is quite amazing, I think. But it's not the follower account that actually counts to me. It's the content creation. As you can see, I've been exploring and growing and going places and seeing stuff and i've been to multi AI blockchain summit which i've seen with safex and it was absolutely amazing so i've done a recap video which actually was the first one but i haven't actually welcomed you all anyway the main point is i am back and i am fully back and i am not going anywhere i might not be making videos every day but i'll be getting bangers like the one today pretty much every other day hopefully fingers crossed so give me a follow on twitter and let's get on today's video so i know that you guys really enjoyed making videos of my top five top 10 and all of that and i basically personally been focusing on the top 10 top 100 when it comes to investments over the last few months because it's i don't want to say the safest options but these are the most reasonable that i could possibly put my money into it in today's video we're going to talk about the top gainers of 2019 and they're not going to be throughout the whole market cap they're going to be from like the more known ones we could possibly say but before we get on to it let's see what a beautiful market cap is doing so bitcoin is 8000 7000 a lot of people is actually having issues with the eight and a half thousand dollars level where Bitcoin could possibly go bearish again, but I still can't believe there are people who think we're going bearish. I mean, just look at the prices. Ethereum, I tweeted last time to buy Ethereum below 200, it was last week. And if you guys missed out on that, I'm really sorry, but it's your loss. Uh, for those of you who've been waiting long enough, a long intro, sorry, I had to introduce myself again. It's gonna be 10 coins we're gonna talk about. And in a short rundown, it's basically gonna be Binance coin, Tezos, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, surprisingly, Bitcoin, Cardano, Dash, and Monero. And Ethereum, obviously, because you can't forget about Ethereum, which is, which is up 91%. And we know that Bitcoin may have had like a spectacular recovery in the past couple of months, but it isn't actually in the top five best performing currencies for the year. So without further ado, let's go straight to the biggest winner being Binance Coin, which is up 475%. And back in April, Binance Coin was the first crypto to actually surpass its January 2018 all-time high just put it into perspective of where Binance coin will be in the future and this is not a professional financial advice I am just trying to put it put it right in front of you and this is very impressive stuff as it had only made it into the top 10 currencies by market cap two months earlier and even the 41 million hack on the Binance exchange couldn't keep it down for long as it posted a new all-time high just three days ago and 475% gains are certainly nothing to be stiffed at in under five months. So on number two we've got Tezos and Tezos had a very very rough 2018 and that was basically for many reasons but with the eventual launch for its mainnet in September preempting a 170 million drop in market cap all that seems to be behind it now though and with a 70% gain in just three days back in March Tesla has continued to capitalize and it's now 255% up of the year. Number three, we've got Lycon, which is loved by many people. And for Lycon this year, it seems that the only way it is, is up. And steady gains almost every month have seen Lycon into the top three performance. And there were healthy gains following the Mimble Wimble announcement in February. And again, in March, April, May. And the halving is just in 70 days so who knows how high it can climb by then let me know in the comments guys all the like confirm what do you think will happen in 70 days with the like on price next on the position number four we've got my least favorite from the list being bitcoin cash and obviously the bitcoin cash hard fork in november 2018 led a uh, bit of hash were basically and the effects of which were felt much better failed and bitmain postponed its ipo and fired ceo um over the affair and this year however bitcoin cash has been quietly regaining lost ground largely thanks to not being linked to craig wright on the fifth place 
we've got EOS, which is fifth ranking currency by market cap and fifth in my ranking as well. EOS has also made quite impressive gains so far this year and the decentralized application smart contract platform hit the news this year when the co-founder Dan Larimer threatened that he could take down the Bitcoin and Ethereum networks. Perhaps it's true that there is no such a thing as a bad publicity, I guess. Just look at the amazing price. Next, we've got the queen or king, depending how you want to look at it, of itself. We've got Bitcoin. And Bitcoin gains this year have made even the mainstream financial media sit up and take a note. However, it still is languishing just outside the top five in my table and it just goes to show what an incredible time it's been for the crypto market. Although this is just a start. I mean, according to Sam, we may be in for a two, three year bull market. And I mean, wouldn't that just be amazing if we could just continue and continue to grow like this? Who knows what the next all time high for Bitcoin is gonna be? Let me know in the comments what you personally think the Bitcoin all time high is gonna be. Number seven, we've got Cardano, which is up 106% ever since the year started. Even though on a graph, it doesn't look like the price has been going up and it's been going steadily. Cardano is not dead. You either love Cardano or you hate it. I'm not entirely sure why people have such a relationship with Cardano, but it's the case. Then we've got Dash, which is up a satisfying 100%. If you've got OCD like I do, currently trading at $169, it's significantly down. But I mean, what is it? You have to think in a good perspective about everything you've got. Next, we've got Monero, which is up only 93% in price. So at the time of the video, Monero is down a quarter of a percent. I mean, that doesn't really matter uh, when it's performing so well. It being up 93% over this year. And last but not least, my second favorite coin at the time of the video is Ethereum, $272 at a time of a video, which is up 91% since the start of the year. The point is that the four currencies I just mentioned are my top 10 and have roughly doubled in value since the start of the year. And each of these coins have performed incredibly well as crypto winter has gone. And we have started to enjoy crypto spring. And while we shouldn't take anything away from their achievements, the competition at the top has just been too much to surmount this time and guys don't ever forget about the top gainers when it comes to all coins and remember to be responsible with your investments this is just a top 10 video for some of the best coins out there in my personal opinion don't ever get disrupted by get rich quick schemes because they are the best ways to basically lose your money unfortunately i would hate that to happen also guys i don't know if you noticed but i've got new glasses since yesterday and um, the other one my dog ruined sat on them so it's a funny story i think but anyway so this were my thoughts which of those top gainers I actually talked about is your personal favorite and which are the all coin you think should be on the list let me know your thoughts and we can possibly get on it so guys remember to follow me at all on Twitter I post loads of things I started going viral a bit too often for my liking and I really struggled to engage with all my uh, followers but I'm not complaining it just shows that you know sometimes being mean works out anyway subscribe to our converse ladies and let me know what videos you want me to do for the rest of the year or just next time you never know what it might come up to I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll be back soon bye bye